Great to have you along here on WKYT. He's pretty unforgettable for more than two decades. I think he's lost count of how long he's been at this now. This caricature of a veteran comedian, James Gregory, has stood there grinning and kind of dresses the way he dresses. You I'm going to look at this. The one and only. You know, he's and I, here. You know what? I just made a mistake today. Usually I'll wear a red hat. Yeah. See, the red hat would have matched this. Well, that's true. You, so, yeah. Anyway. Well, well, we think you look just wonderful. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. <laughs> you know, I was making note. You you always come when the horses are racing. Like it it seems that way, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I always come Derby Week. Yeah. And I, I love being here. No matter when I come to Lexington, I love being here. Yeah. But every time I show up, there's some kind of horse event going on. <laughs> I wish that when I came to Lexington, you'd have something going on with pro wrestling. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> something that I can relate to. I got you. <laughs> you know, something I can understand. Yeah. yeah. But I'm sure you appreciate those crowds showing up after they've been at uh, Keeneland or whatever all day. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Good folks around here. Yeah. yeah. And good food. Well, what are some of your favorite places? What do you like to do when you're here? Well, Besides anything, the comedy club, what do well, you like to I do? Well, I love you have such wonderful, wonderful bakeries here. Especially McGee's Bakery. Yep. Oh, oh, really nice. Gracious, yes. You know, I can just live in there, you know. <laughs> I don't and they, think they'll they, let you do they, that. They think I'm homeless. Yeah. Well, you go on, you know, like, see, I've, I've bought what I wanted, you know. <laughs> and I, I like to watch other people and see what they're going to get, you know. So. <laughs> <laughs> For well, the you next said, time in. You said, uh, you know, the weather isn't cooperating with, uh, you, you kind of like to have a cigar. Well, yeah, you know, room. I'm a cigar smoker, and I like to smoke at least one a day, you know. So and I don't smoke in the car, and I'm at a hotel that's non-smoking. So I usually go outside, and now it's raining and cold. So it's God's way of making sure I don't smoke. <laughs> that's that how we got bad weather it. right now. Got to work out that way. That yeah. will take yeah, care of yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, speaking yeah. of bad weather, you were telling us. I mean, you had a rough road uh, back here when it uh, when that snow we had came that big to Atlanta. Ice storm in what was that about a year, year and a half ago? Yeah. When it was, you know, the whole city was shut down. Yeah. I was involved in that. Yeah. Really? Oh yeah. I had gone, I was at the Emory Hospital, you know, just visiting people, because as you know, I never get sick. Okay, just cheering just, people up, I was right? visiting other people, you <laughs> yeah. know. And because the reason I don't never get sick is because I eat right. Yeah. You know. But, uh, sure, of, of course, and the cigars help a lot, too. I'm not one of those, one of those organic, healthy people. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, uh, I was a grown man before I realized that gravy was not a beverage, yeah, right. you know. <laughs> But I was leaving the hospital because I had been visiting people. And I left there at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And my home is only 35 miles from there. It's on the north side. At 1 o'clock in the afternoon, I finally got home at 6.30 the next morning. Wow. Wow. So just trapped on that interstate on the ice. <laughs> That's you know, really scary. Almost a day and a half. Well, did you, you just know, tell yourself so. jokes or what? <laughs> well, here was what was frustrating. No cigar with me. Right. So I thought I'd be back in an hour or two, you know. <laughs> and there was no food in the car. Uh, you know, so. Rough time. But other than that, though, I was just, uh, <laughs> anytime we go through something like that, at the end result is, the bright side is that, you know, I got through it. You, you know. got it. You got it. It's just, it's great being above ground and breathing no matter where you are. We kind of forget that sometimes. We do. Right. And we we're always complain about like bad traffic, you know, but look at this. I can participate in this bad traffic. Yeah, yeah I'm still alive. The great James Gregory, yeah. everybody, tonight and Saturday night, 715 at 945 right. at Comedy Off-Broadway. Right. Thanks for coming. Well, thank you. Good to see you. You, you both look great as usual. Appreciate thank that. You. Thank you, sir.